Hey there and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Pete and this is the series where we try to complete The Sims 3. In today's episode we will experience the last few days of Paul as a child. He will soon age up to a teenager. Also, and I think this has a bit more impact, Pete will age up soon as well and he will become an elder. He will still be able to work so we don't have to worry about reaching level 10 in the military career. But for the past 20 episodes and for this one as well we have only experienced him as an adult so this will likely be a bit of a change both for me and you. For now, however, he is still in the adult life stage and we will start the day with him taking a shower. It is the weekend and none of our sims have to work. That means for Pete we can continue to push his logic skill, Ayesha will tutor him in that and Paul can continue to write and paint. After the shower, Pete will grab a microwave meal And while he's eating, we can quickly head into the buy menu and buy a cheap sink for the bathroom. I'm mainly buying this one in hopes that it breaks. We still need to repair 10 plumbing objects with Pete, and even though none of the appliances we have have the unbreakable upgrade, they still don't seem to break. Maybe we also need to host a party or two. Both the trash compactor and the dishwasher are also doing a good job so far. They are being used pretty frequently, but as of right now have not broken down yet. Pete will now start applying the self-cleaning upgrade to the sink, because repairing stuff is fine with me, cleaning is not. And finally Ayesha is awake as well, she will start her day with a quick meal of cereal, which produces dishes that we can put in the dishwasher in the hopes that the thing finally breaks down. You see, I'm getting a bit desperate here. And while she's eating we get a notification, yes it's almost Pete's birthday and I think yes we could throw a little party for this one. Ayesha will now join Pete in the bathroom and tutor him in the logic skill. For that purpose Pete will also stop upgrading the sink and with both of their needs pretty much in the green all across the board, this could be what they do for the next few hours. Meanwhile Paul is awake as well, he will also start his day with cereal, then clean up the dishes, Still holding up, at least for now. And now Paul will continue to write his sci-fi novel. Alright, that is another book finished that also fulfills a wish and breaks the computer. Well, isn't that lovely? That is good for Pete who can now repair the thing while Ayesha grabs the mail. In the meantime, Paul has started to paint outside. Alright, we received a copy of Paul's first book in the mail. In the absence of a bookshelf, we will keep that one in Ayesha's inventory for now. Ayesha can now go and take a shower and you heard it in the background, Pete has already finished repairing the computer. That is the first of 10 electrical objects repaired. Let's try and see where we get the other 9 from. He can now go back and upgrade the sink, at least for as long as it takes Ayesha to finish her shower, because afterwards we will get back to tutoring the logic skill. While Paul is busy painting, we get an opportunity for Pete, search the galaxy to earn some money and increase the logic skill. That looks like a good one to me, so let's take it. Nice, Paul has improved his painting skill to level 4, which will now also unlock his ability to write children's books. Those are pretty short, but at the same time bring in a decent amount of cash, so his next book will definitely be one of those. We also received 900 lifetime happiness points for improving that skill. And that's another painting finished. Let's hang that up on the wall here while Paul grabs another bite to eat. And right after finishing another bowl of cereal, Paul will once again clean up his mess, still no accidents here, and then proceed to start his very first children's book. However, not for long, his fun bar is not exactly maxed out at the moment and by stopping the writing process right here we can push him to the next level in the writing skill and instead he can start another small painting. Then we get a skill opportunity for Ayesha. Use the quick burst option to improve the athletic skill. No thank you, we have that already maxed out. 
And congratulations, Ahisha. After a full day of tutoring, she has now completed the Skill Professor Skill Challenge. 30 total hours of tutoring other Sims and skills, poor Pete, but that's what you need to sacrifice for the sake of completion. In the meantime, Paul has also finished his painting, he will now take a shower, and after that one, all three of our Sims can go to bed. Tomorrow we have a full day of work and school in front of us, so let's give him some rest and skip ahead to the next morning. Okay, Ahisha is the first one awake and today we start things off a tiny bit different. She has a bit of time left before she needs to go to work, so let's start collecting. And first off we can send her off to the beach nearby where she can find a space rock. Meanwhile back at home Paul is having breakfast while Pete is still asleep. Ahisha can continue to pick up a few more space rocks. While Pete has gotten up, taken a shower and will now go to work. To kill a bit of time before school, Paul is currently writing his children's book. Yes, that will decrease his fun bar, but I'm not planning to make him work hard at school anyway. As a matter of fact, I think it's time for him to meet a few new people at school. Alright, Ahisha has also found some iron. And a luminorious gem at the park, and that one is actually quite valuable. And because she is in town already, she can go to work a bit early today, I assume that won't hurt her performance. Alright, the school bus has arrived for Paul. He is already a bit stressed out from writing, so let's set him to meet new friends at school. That should also help his social need. Okay, we get the info that Ahisha got dumped into the garbage at work and that she now smells really, really bad. That looks like we can already line up a shower for her after work. In the meantime, Pete has maxed out his work performance for today. He will get the promotion anyway, so let's tell him to goof off a bit to raise that fun bar again. Paul also has met Jamal at school, so now he has at least one acquaintance next to his parents. And that is the work they finished for Pete, 754 simoleons, that's starting to look like something here. And the promotion, including a nice bonus on top as well. That also fulfills his wish to earn a raise, which is rewarded with 750 lifetime happiness points. An hour later, Ahisha's first workday in the medical career comes to an end, smelling horribly, but promoted to bad band cleaner. Congratulations. And Paul's day in school is also over, and while he goes home to grab something to eat, Pete has grabbed the mail, another one of Paul's books, paid the bills and is now searching the galaxy for stars for his opportunity. Alright, Ahisha is home and first order of business for her is obviously to take a shower to get rid of that smell. That was rather fast and she can now raise her fun bar on the computer playing computer games. Meanwhile, Paul has made his way home from school as well and he will eat some cereal before we make Ahisha leave the computer again so that Paul can continue to write his children's book. Ahisha will now continue to collect stuff and once again we start on the beach. That is some gold, very nice. And back at home Pete has discovered his first and probably only star. We will aptly name that one Pete 1, get a nice amount of cash as a reward and we can now also report our findings at the science facility. Alright, 500 simoleons and a nice boost to the logic skill as a reward for cashing in the opportunity. And to continue to work on that skill, Pete will now head into the library and read a few logic books. Immediately after sitting down, he reaches level 7. We will have him continue to read just a bit more. While back at home, Paul has finished his very first children's book. Even though he is already a bit stressed out, let's quickly have him do his homework as well. Perfect, now we are well prepared for the next day of school. In the meantime, Ahisha has finished her collecting spree and she is now sending off various gems and metals to be cut or smelted respectively. By the way, for a quick guide on how to make money with collecting and other things that don't require skills, feel free to check out my little video on that, I have linked it down low in the description. Paul will now start a new painting, another small one, to get the magic number of 30 paintings pushed out as fast as possible. Meanwhile, Ahisha is having some cereal and Pete will put away the logic book for now. Ahisha can now also start to analyze the various space rocks she has collected, just so that we get an idea what we actually have in our inventory. 
She can then send the rest of the metals that are worth it to be smelted and clean up the dishes while we sell a few low value collectibles. Then it's time for her to go to sleep and Pete can stop upgrading the sink as well and also go to bed now. And with Paul we wait until he has finished his painting, then we can drag that on the wall inside and also send him off to bed. And that is where we make the cut for today's episode. At this point I am strongly considering to get Ayesha pregnant one more time, but I have to think about the whole logistics behind that just a while longer. With her pregnant and then later on maternity leave, she will spend quite a few days away from work and I'm not quite sure we will be able to get everything done we have planned for her. Nonetheless, we need to make a decision on that before she has less than 5 days left as an adult, because from what I know we will then no longer be able to get her pregnant. So I will think about that, stay tuned, you will have an answer next Sunday. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.